doing? Ugh. What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Okay, I know it looks a little bit different and that's because I am in upstate New York or western New York. Yeah, don't want to call it upstate New York. I mean, one of my neighbors has been cutting the grass, which is a good thing. We do have a lot of weeds. I don't have a weed whacker and I do not have a car. I had to Uber here from the airport, which is fine. Ending up with my boy Mosarji tomorrow. Came a day early. I have not been here since June. So let's go inside. It's a spoiler. You're going to have to go back outside where you came from. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, no, not in there. Ah, he's inside. I started looking around to see if I had like some water because I'm going to be stuck in here for the this whole day by myself with no car out in the middle of nowhere. Let's see what we got in here. Hey, this is cool. Got a couple frozen dinners. That's all right. Whoa, cool. We got some expired yogurt and almond milk we also got some fermented grapes my favorite <laughs> i opened up this cabinet to see what else we had and this funky funky smell came out of there you want to know what that funky smell is because at first i thought it was these donuts that we left there in june no something else worse oh oh, oh. potatoes i'm the, uh, i feel you little bro Yo, I mean, this is, uh, 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 am I gonna put this? Ah, it's leaking on the ground. But I don't even have a trash can out here. Ah, I'll just leave it right here. Oh, I'll get it later. Yo, like that stinks. Bro, that stunk up the entire house just opening up that cabinet. Little puddle in there that I gotta clean up. Some potato juice. Probably get drunk if you eat those potatoes. I am so excited, you have no idea. We're gonna spend the next week going to all these really cool, creepy locations. But I gotta wait for my boy Mo to get here because he's gonna bring his car from Canada. It's at eight o'clock this morning and I got here at 10.30. I'm excited about this change of scenery. I'm excited to have you come along on some new adventures. If you watched my last video, my friend Robbie gave me this doll and we don't know if it's haunted. I ended up keeping this doll in my pickup truck. So when I get back home, we're gonna have to, hopefully that doll's not mad at me for sitting in my truck for a week by himself in the hot sun. Got this new wide angle lens that like we could see like a lot more. Look at that, like my camera's right there. Well, you know, it's, it's yeah, it's close. Yeah, I'm kind of digging it, I think it's cool. I'm so happy that the weather's nice here. I mean, it's just raining every day in Florida, so it's kind of it's kind of nice. And it's still warm up here because it gets pretty cold. I have brought you here when it's been freezing cold. Probably gonna be coming back up this way when it gets cold, the kids loved it. We're prepared, we got the boots over there. I gotta take care of this potato problem. Um, oh, oh, ugh. This smells like booty. Yeah, if you could put a smell on Lysol and butt, it almost smells worse. I thought something died. I for sure thought that a rat got in here or something, and maybe a mouse. Oh man, it leaked like all the way through. Look at that. I don't even know if this stuff's still good. Is this peanut butter still good? Mm, it says July 20. Yeah, that's not good. Found these donuts. These weren't here from the summer. I think these are a little older. Like we brought these during our spring break. Enjoy by 4 4 2022. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a while ago. They smell good. It's not as fluffy. It's not bad though. Just tastes like a, a stale donut. I mean, if I was really hungry, if I was here by myself for a week and I, like I needed it, I mean, it's better than going outside and hunting down squirrels. I'm gonna throw these away. Didn't have any water, but I did manage to find a bunch of these half drunk waters from the last time I was here sitting by my bed. I mean, I'm thirsty. I'm sure it's better than faucet water. Huh. So I have a majority of the house pretty much clean. Anytime you're leaving a house that doesn't have any central air, I mean, even if it does have central air 
and everything is all closed in you're gonna have some dust so i had to do a lot of wiping down and i mean the house was pretty clean when we left it there was some little bugs here and there some spoilers had to vacuum up a lot plus it just it feels so good to have a nice clean space to work in now i got my bro mo sarji coming now if you remember this room right here I had a bed there and a bed there. I just stripped the sheets, by the way, to wash them. Uh, there is the bathroom. Everything's clean. I wiped everything down. Originally, I was using this space just for like editing and stuff. This was like my edit area. But hey, you know, I have a guest coming. It's good to give your guests the very best. I just made that up. So what I did is I moved a bed in here and I'm gonna put the air conditioning in the window because it does get a little hot sometimes. And there's a little space, a dedicated workspace for my bro, Mr. Mo. There it go with the rhyming again. There is nothing like getting fresh linens put on your bed. Especially for guests. That's something I've learned with having like Airbnbs and being myself at different Airbnbs. I mean, that's how I judge a place being clean or not. Like if the beds, I mean, you could tell if bed sheets have not been replaced. I mean, I've say a couple Airbnb, some questionable ones where there's like hair left behind on the bed. I'm like, they did not change these sheets. I mean, it's just Mo. Every guest deserves fresh, new, clean sheets. Got him not one, but two pillows. <laughs> like his space here this is like I mean you don't even know what I'm giving up like I love this little desk and I love this chair so I'll have to do some video editing out in the kitchen which is fine what the heck I think Florida followed me here <laughs> hey you know what's great I get to stay indoors I got no car I ain't got nothing else to do so I'll just I'll hang out in here I mean I did want to go for a walk maybe later I just saw a drone literally right outside my window right now. Like I fly drones, but I don't fly them really close to people's houses. I'll fly them above people's houses. It doesn't make any sense because it's raining. Like who would be flying a drone outside? Uh, maybe I'm seeing things. Look, it's right there, it's right there. There's a freaking drone. It's flying, legit flying right over my house. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who the hell's flying a drone right above my house? All right, here's the thing. I'm not expecting Mo until tomorrow. He's the only other person I would think that would have a drone. I don't see anybody here. Get the fuck away from my house. What are they doing? Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. Damn, you're lucky I can't reach that. Ugh. I'm gonna get in the house, call the police, because I don't know what's going on. I feel like I'm being targeted. All right, I'm not seeing that drone anymore. And whoever was flying it probably got a warning. But I mean, I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why anybody would be flying a drone that close to my house. If you ever see a drone though, like that, don't attack it the way I did. It's actually illegal. You don't own the airspace above your house. The FAA does. So yeah, you get in, in pretty big trouble for that. Do you think people that rob houses are using drones now? Maybe they targeted my house because they don't see any cars outside? This is one thing that can happen before a home invasion is they, they knock on the door to see if see if somebody opens the door. Hello? <laughs> I knew it was you! <laughs> I knew it was you! I knew it was you, bro! <laughs> Yeah, bro. just got some urine on your hand. Bro, oh, I'm so happy you left your bro, door open. Feel my heart rate. Feel my heart rate. Oh, oh boy, he's scared. Were you scared? 
Yeah, I was like, bro, I'm not going to call the cops and they're going to like show up like a half an hour later. What took you like, so long to open the door? I got drenched. I'm like, I hope this guy opens the door so I can like run in from the back or something. Were you flying a drone outside the house right now? Is yeah, that you? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> somebody was trying to break in my house, maybe using a drone to see if somebody was here first. I parked way down the road. That was, that was, that was. So fun. you're not parked outside? No, I parked way down the road and I walked through the rain. And what the, the hell? Bro, I'm you got me good. I wasn't expecting you till tomorrow. Frank Stromedy yesterday, kind of like the same concept, but it was at nighttime and he was like shitting his pants. He actually tried to beat me with a stick, him and his friend. Woo! Uh, Mo is back, baby. You have no idea how relieved I am that that was Mo. I am so out of breath. Why you have me throwing bricks at his drone? I got you a couple of gifts. Oh, snap. You can go ahead and open it. You know, you're a good friend. You know, you're letting me stay at your place. Thanks. These are made of maple syrup. <laughs> I've always wanted these. Honestly, they'd come in they come in handy because my family comes and visits here often. You were supposed to find that last. Look at this. I got you this so you can tickle your pickle for a nickel. Oh, all right. <laughs> there you go. I'm gonna go go something tonight in this. Dude, that actually yeah. looks so cool. <laughs> Some maple syrup. Oh. Can you guess what that is? Take a wild guess. A cup with the Canadian flag on it. How did you know? It's got a moose on it. Yeah, okay, even better. Nice. We don't have any meese. Here. Our meese are fierce warriors in Canada. And oh, there it is. There's the Canadian. There we go. Right you got yourself a shirt. Yeah, I'm busting that. <laughs> I love it, bro. Hey, yeah, man. You, man. I'm showing Mo around the house a little bit. That's where all the love happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ready to see your room? Wait, do I sleep on the couch or is there an actual room? No, bro, you get your own room, man. So check it out, bro. You're the first one that gets to sleep in this room. And you even have your own little workspace. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we got a work desk. I love that. Thank you. That's awesome. That's the AC that I hear. It is. Okay, I love that because it drowns out any noises. So you I, like having sound at night? Yeah, I like fan noises. That's so perfect. And in case you're wondering, Mo gave me this hat. Yeah, you guys will see it on the main channel. Yeah. There's a story behind that hat. I farted in it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I would never do that, but next time I will. <laughs> There's another room in case you, uh, you get a little bored. There's a ghost that lives in there named Jeremy. Oh, <gasps> there he is right here. Oh my god! There is, yeah. We got Jeremy up here. <laughs> Jeremy the stink bug. That's the bathroom, and then this is like a little extra oh, okay. room. Yeah, I got oh. two bathrooms, two, uh, three bedrooms. Yo, this is a big room too. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I originally had your bed in here, but then I put it in there. That way you could have like a workstation yeah. stuff too. I mean, why couldn't you just move the workstation? Well, the reason why, and I was thinking ahead for you... <laughs> The sun comes up on this window. I love you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. When the sun comes up, I go up. Like, literally. I cannot sleep. If it's not dark like pitch black, I will not be able to fall asleep. And see, you'll have a nice pitch black. This yeah. this got, like, some room darkening. I mean, they're not the prettiest shit, uh, God, you know, that's, dude, window that's curtains. So but Thank you. Guys, yeah. big shout out to Omar. I can't believe this boy is trying at the maple hey, I told syrup. you I was going to try it. So, I had some leftover breakfast. Mm. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry tonight. So okay. I'm going to try some of Mo's. I feel like this is a prank or something. No, nah, bro. I swear I didn't pee in it. Not this time. <laughs> I'm going to try a little bit. Just Ooh, in case I don't like look it. at that. It's like one bottle goes over one pancake. I think my right. wife would do that. She'd put a whole bottle on one pancake. Oh, it's probably good. Sure. That's like Canadian stuff, man. Mm. All right, fam. I'm with my boy Mo Sarji. Get ready to film a banger haunted video. We're supposedly going to a haunted house that a psychic owns. How do you feel about that? They don't know what color underwear I'm wearing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wearing any underwear. Oh, shit. <laughs> but hey, check it out. Where we're at right now, this is Orchard Park. This is where the Buffalo Bills play football. And it's on the other side. We're going to drive by here in a second. But I've so, only been here once. So are they like a popular team? Because I don't know anything. Yeah, right sports. there. Oh, that's the stadium. Yeah, Highmark Stadium. Whoa. It's huge. You want to sneak in? Sure. <laughs> like, don't laugh at me. I really don't know anything about sports. It's like... American uh, football. Like an NFL team? Yeah. Oh, okay. Buffalo so not, Bills. Not like college level football. Nah, nah. Professional. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Mo is not a football fan, so... I don't I, know anything about sports, period. Well, they have a Canadian football league. I don't know if you knew that. I know about the CFL. The CFL, yeah. yeah. But I, I don't know anything about sports. Like, I'm not a sports guy. Man, when I think of Mo, I think, like, football. Like, really? you're, you're into football or basketball. I can basketball. throw football really well, but I, I, I just, I've never had time in my life to ever play sports. You are a busy guy. Also, back when I was in high school, nobody ever passed to me. Now, we're trying to find somewhere to eat before we, oh, what's this? Buffalo Best Grill. Let's just try to find something healthy there. I'm sure there's something healthy. All right, let's take a look at it. Mo had a good point, too. They're busy. 
so it has to be good. I mean, look, look where we're parking all the way in the back. I'm looking at the review, bro. <laughs> 4.2, not bad for this area, I hey. guess. I usually don't eat in anything under like 4.5, but I'll, I'll let it pass. Every other place I was looking for too is like all three star ratings. <laughs> if I'm planning Those are the best kissing, onions. If I'm planning on making out with you later, I can't be having onions, okay? <laughs> I like onion breath. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> so these are our appetizers, by the way. So we just ate. I don't know. I think that lady waved at me. I think she was just had her hand in the air because she was talking. Were, she thought you were sexy. She, she was fighting with somebody. <laughs> but uh, it was pretty chilly inside there. In fact, it was so cold in there that when we got in here, he uh, he turned the air off. And he was like, bro, I don't know why it was so cold in there. They must have vampires living in the kitchen. 100%. They got vampires in there. <laughs> vampires like the cold. They Wait, how do you know about vampires? I used to date a vampire. Used to date a vampire. She suck me dry. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you put that no, in your vlogs. No, <laughs> I'm not putting that. There's got to be some adult humor in there. <laughs> but yeah, isn't Orchard Park so nice out here? So it's very pretty. Oh yeah, all I see is uh, one diner <laughs> that's freezing cold and, and a couple of trees and that's it. What up, Mo? Yo, what's up, man? Good morning, everybody. Hey, look, this is the first time ever you're going to see Mo without a hat on. <laughs> I miss you all the time. It's really important when you're out traveling, you don't have access to a gym, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere like we are, to try to keep in shape. So I'm keeping in shape by watching Mo keep in shape right now. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna probably uh, steal his dumbbells here in a second. I've been going for walks. We're in a mountain right now and I easy to go down the mountain, but once you get up, I'm gonna show you. It's it's a fun walk, it's really cool. We are exhausted. I mean, we've been nonstop every, I mean, we haven't had much time and we're still trying to edit, get some content out for y'all, but I mean, like these late nights going to these haunted places and oh my gosh, yesterday was a killer. Dude, we've been so busy. And my wife's been complaining because like I haven't had time to even like talk to her. I've been so like we've been so busy. I've been editing nonstop, filming nonstop. The struggle is is real. Yeah, it's fun though. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. fun. So we have a house mascot. It's a spoiler, and he's been chilling up there for a couple days now. What the f bro? That was a spider. <laughs> <laughs> hey, working out gets me a little gassy too. It's all good. I swear that was a spider. <laughs> but look at him move. He's been here for a few days. Yeah. Could you imagine just chilling upside down? Like, oh, bro, you stink. Bro, that's not me. Even the spider is like trying to get away from that fart cloud. Just look at him go. His name is PP. Stands for Peter Parker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, see if he bites you, maybe you become Spider Man. Uh, hey, Mrs. Butterfly. I don't know. What if Mrs. Butterfly is Mr. Butterfly? Either way, you're beautiful. So we're out here taking a walk out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Look how beautiful this country road is. I mean, it's just, it's gorgeous. I've been taking walks last couple days. Uh, the first day that I was here, I got a little bored and went on a walk. And it reminds me of Tiffany. I miss Tiffany so much. See how we're walking downhill? Bro, I mean, it doesn't look like it. The moment we turn around, <laughs> bro, you don't even know. It doesn't look like anything, but when you go down there and you turn around, it just, it looks like you just, you did one of those. Because we're on a mountain right now. For you can't. Clothing. Yeah. Right? I mean, you could sort of oh, envision. Yeah, you just like throw a ball. So, this is really steep, actually. Like, but now that I'm looking up, it's really steep. But imagine like having a ball right now. Just like, letting well, it roll down there. This is the second best thing. It's a rock, so. <laughs> Fail. I mean, it, it went a little bit, dude. It went a little bit. Bro, look at this, like, abandoned house. Is that one thing? Pretty sure. This doesn't even do it justice. I don't know if you can see that massive incline. Let me try, like, walking up. And, like, yeah. I guess so. That way. That kind of works. Well, the reason why I think of Tiffany so much, especially while doing this walk, is because when we spent couple of weeks here in the summertime we would go on these walks like just about every day i miss you it's, it's cool lake. huh this guy's got a lake in his back dude that's like, my dream. that's like an oasis man it's beautiful i want that you want to go swimming in it dude i'm down if we're allowed what's that house up there oh oh yeah there is a house that's pretty though when we're done building our house i want to build like my own pond like something like that Any... what was that is that a deer uh Oh, it sounds like a police car, so ambulance, yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe fire truck. Wish I had one of those major lenses on my camera right now, so you can like zoom in the birds. You ever been, like gone bird watching? 
We should do like a bird watching thing one day. Imagine a bird watching video. That'd probably get like super viral. <laughs> Mo and Omar, gosh TV, go bird watching. Gone wrong, giant blue jay attacks us. Stabbed in the eye by a crow. Ah! Bro. Yeah, I, I don't I don't even think you realize when we turn around right now what we're up against. Yeah, I'm gonna walk really slow though. You're in better shape than I am. Bro. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I give him like five seconds. <laughs> but I prefer going uphill than downhill. Bro, that'll preach right there. I prefer to go uphill than downhill. Nope. I wish I brought a level. This is like, woo. Dude, you know where we should go? Wait, wait, hold on. No, it didn't work. It didn't Can't work. do that Michael Jackson trick. Hey, so not far from here is a hill. It's also known as Gravity Hill. It borders a cemetery. I've heard about it and I really want to go there. And I knew about this place when I lived up in this region. And I would visit it and we would go during the day, but I've never been at nighttime to kind of figure out why. Is it the ghost? It goes up a hill and you put your car in neutral and it will push you up the hill. It's in... What the hell was that? I don't know, something moved over there. Sound like a branch, like breaking or something. Here's the thing with Gravity Hill though. Look, I know there's another one in Pennsylvania somewhere. Mm -hmm. And I know this car YouTuber, he's really big. He's got like, millions of subscribers. He does new paranormal stuff. He was just happened to be there and he put his truck in neutral and it literally started moving i think it was backwards or forward on the hill and he was like guys i swear to god i'm not faking this in any way my car is literally going backwards in neutral oh look at that it's a lizard look at that he's like an orange color it's a spotted burmese lizard they're highly venomous and poisonous you click <laughs> Bro, look how cool he is i don't know i've never seen one like that but dude spots are never a good sign oh no there's a truck coming come on go go little guy go go Come on, go. Oh. Oh, fuck. Um, so that lizard right now would not move. I don't know if it was alive or maybe it was just, I mean, it's, it's a little cooler out here. And it's probably just sunbathing, like Mo said. It did. It did. <laughs> hey, that's not funny, bro. I was trying to get it to go. This guy in the truck show, did you film it? Um, well, I mean, I was trying not to, but yeah, there was a guy in a truck and he wouldn't move the lizard he ended up getting run over oh, poor lizard well oh, i feel bad yeah. i feel bad too we should give him a proper burial how you feeling oh, i feel good i'm kind of dying right now this is a get you man we're on that uphill battle see this track right here no bullshit you know what this is from huh a giant anaconda <laughs> see what this is this is a thermicus hibiscus if you drink this here you'll have unlimited dreams of birds we just made it up the ginormous hill i mean it was like it was like that this is not only a cardio day this is a leg day maybe like a two mile walk not so bad but going up those inclines really make it a challenge a lot of people think that they have to go jogging or do all this working out like just go for a walk with jogging you actually lose muscle because you're, you're burning muscle and fat but with actual walking like we're doing if you walk for an hour a day you're just burning fat and you're not going to be burning any muscle you're actually building muscle and i don't run like i don't have, like i don't run like i like to run but i try not to because i don't want to lose muscle but I'd rather it's bad on your joints too it is it's hard on your joints these, these are my favorite shoes in the world uh -huh. sketchers i can't live without them they save my back i used to have back problems like i couldn't even like walk properly oh wow but the sketchers dude not even a promo for sketchers they literally saved my life Yo, check out the countryside, it's so beautiful. Wow. All those grapes. We have any grapes in Canada? Yeah, in the Niagara region only. Yeah? Yeah, they're so cool. I want some. We're, we're looking at right now, I know it doesn't look like much, but this is Casadega, New York. And just a couple days ago, I was in Casadega, Florida. So that's kind of like the parallels because Lilydale is in the same town and then you know, Lilydale, the psychic town, and then I went to Casadego, Florida, that also has a psychic town that is supposedly exactly a thousand miles away, which is very strange. Or maybe it's eleven hundred miles away. Dude, what if it's like a portal of some sort? No, there is a there's a vortex in the one in Florida because the psychics were talking about it. But it's beautiful out here. It's very country. Like every witch show, like about witches and stuff. Yeah. Like the houses, the vibes, and it, it is beautiful. They usually do live in beautiful places. Now, the last couple places that we've been to, surprisingly enough, what did they have in common? The psychics? Yeah, the yeah. owners were psychics. Yeah, they were. Which is insane. I don't know if there's a, I mean, the place that we're going to right now, I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. It's called the Hinsdale House. And I've never been there, Mo's never been there. In fact, 
this whole trip is brand new places we've never been yeah, to. Brand new locations. Which is awesome. Oh, that looks like an Amish built house. People watch these like shows on Netflix like Riverdale and like all these like vampire and, and spooky shows, satanic shows. And they want to live that life. But we literally live that life. Like, <laughs> we, we go to these places, we communicate with We're not Satan them. worshipers, okay? No, we're not, but we communicate with like We love psychics. God. Yeah, Team God. Um, we, we talk to like psychics and we talk to like people who like, you know, even they do worship Satan. Some of them, you know, like they just, some of them We're like care. journalists, if you will. Yeah. You but know? we live that life where we go to these haunted places and we interact with these people. Like it's so cool to think about it. Bro, so last night after going to that Wildwood Asylum or the sanitarium, I, I had to pray. Like I had to pray a couple times because th- there was, there was a lot of energy there and a lot of stuff happened in in this house and i felt like there was something affecting me in the middle of the night i'm not sure if maybe you felt the same way but i almost felt like like i was feeling sick but to bed like i said i said some prayers in Arabic Dude. because i'm like yeah, i know there's guaranteed something that followed us mm. and saying these prayers were getting rid of them and i slept like a baby last night after i prayed it, it was fine after two and I, I feel fine today so yeah, when you go to haunted places, it, it's very important to say a prayer. People that message me like, hey, your videos are fake because all your locations are fake and CGI'd. What? It's like, bro, if I had the ability to CGI my locations, I'm I would do it. So this whole AI technology is starting to, I mean, it's kind of scary, but it's kind of good, too. Like, I was just watching this YouTube video, how this guy did his voice, and you record your voice, and you're able to type in certain things and it will copy your voice what yeah dude insane like for voiceovers and stuff like that i do a lot of voiceovers for videos and stuff and i don't know the exact program that does this i think it's internet based and you have to pay like a monthly fee for it but if you mess up and you want to like add certain things it will pick up on your voice and add those things now that could be very helpful but it's very scary too because people can I mean, ultimately frame you and say, oh, Mo Sarji said this, and here I have a recording of him saying this, and it's not real. But dude, now there's even AIs, like they're making videos, like they're making real people out of AI technology. It like looks, animated videos? Yeah, no, it, they look like, like really, you couldn't tell that they're not real. It's so freaking realistic. Could you imagine somebody framing you based off like some AI animation? Mo cheated on his wife and I have proof, like look. <laughs> now obviously there's <laughs> now obviously there's like uh, probably some code within these AI videos that can prove that it's an AI, you know what I mean? There always is a, there's always like a, a, a trail, you know what I mean? Right. Like if you were to take a video right now that you made on your phone, send it to someone and then take that same video, um, Manufa- like do something to it, like edit something out of it or like you know tinker around with it they can use code to determine if you've edited it somehow mm-hmm. yeah, like uh, there was something about um, the Amber Heard thing court she had a video of like Johnny Depp or something like that and then they figured out that the video had been tampered with through coding she edited it yeah she, she manufactured the video to make it seem like he did something wrong wow it's late we just finished our explore slash investigation traumatization (laughs) so we're pretty wired up because uh not only from the anxiety felt here at the hinsdale house but from the espressos that we had he had like six espressos it was insane but we got a little tour from a shaman witch which was very interesting i did a whole interview with her at the hinsdale house this house okay i want to give you a little backstory really quick and kind of show you around but we kind of saved this room for last during our explore we had a lot of weird stuff happen but this room even though we saved it for last it was sort of quiet except for the dream catcher we were communicating with a spirit with this dream catcher it kept going back and forth on command it was pretty you all right bro sorry (laughs) supposedly this house was so haunted i mean whatever was here was tormenting the family the original family that lived here they were called the dandies it was so haunted that they brought a priest and i didn't show this in my video or i don't think even mo showed it in his video so you get a first hand look here but this is a picture of the priest that performed an exorcism here at the hinsdale house now i have heard of exorcisms happening in houses before but mainly on people. This exorcism was for the house specifically, and it went wrong. It was a complete and utter failure. 
That's right, the exorcism did not work. In fact, the family ended up moving out of the house and their bad luck followed them out of the house as well. Even the one of the girls, what was her name, Laura? She predicted her death at a very young age and she ended up sadly taking her own life. The one girl that still remains, that's still alive today, Beth, wants nothing to do with this house, by the way. And she was tormented, and I'm gonna show you in this room, there was a woman that has been seen and there's so many different entities that have been seen on this property, but right outside this window. And I did witness something outside this window. You're gonna have to wait for the video. But this was a room, this used to be a wall. Right here is a doorway. And she witnessed seeing a woman and she, she was weeping, like crying. Don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it was on more than one occasion. But it freaked her out, it scared her to death. I mean, so much so that even in her older age now, I'm not sure how old she is, she's still alive. She wants nothing to do with this house, absolutely nothing. It's that terrifying. So Mo, what'd you think of this house? Mo. Quit playing, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for real though, what'd you think of this house? It's scary. It is like, pretty scary. The upstairs. I saw like I'm just standing here trying to see if something pops out because like what in happened like with you and like that shoe that you seen. Um, I'm just waiting. What was a leg? Waiting to see if anything pops out or anything happens. Like these rooms are no joke. They're tiny, but they're scary. Bro, do you want to like maybe spend some time alone? Like I'll go in the in the car. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd be against that too. Like I would not do an alone challenge alone in here. In my bedroom at your place, but not here. Not here. No. No. no it's, it's weird because like, Hell no. the place doesn't look scary, but it is. Like when you go to these rooms upstairs and like the mirror closet and all that. I'm done with this place though for tonight, dude. I'm. <laughs> if you want to come to a super cool haunted location, come to the Hinsdale House. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Let them know that Mo and Omar sent you. And hey, I want to give a big shout out to my boy, Nick Groff. I made a video with him the other day, him and his wonderful wife, Tessa. And he has a new show called Death Walker coming out. I think it's going to be streamed on a lot of different platforms. He just did a premiere locally and it was successful. A lot of people showed up. It was amazing. I feel like they're the Ed and Lorraine Warren of the 21st century. Like, no joke, they are that gifted. No disrespect to Ed and Lorraine Warren. They have some gifts, especially Tessa. We did a video together and Tessa's a medium. I've been around a lot of psychic mediums and I've never witnessed the type of gifts that Tessa has. I mean, it's insane. You have to wait for that video, it's pretty cool. We did two different videos, by the way. We did one for Mo, one for me. A Little bit different than what we usually film. Sometimes when we go places, We'll usually like film together. Like he'll be holding the camera, I'm holding a camera. We've been doing things way different, which it's it's a lot more work. It's a lot more work in essence, but it's worth it. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we're doing two completely different videos, like a part one and a part two. That way it brings more value. It's something different. Cause sometimes like Mo will get his video out maybe a little bit before me. And like if we're filming together and then I drop my video like a week later, I have people tell me like hey I've already watched this like why are you re-uploading this video and it's because Mo had uploaded the video before me I'm gonna go and upload every video we filmed this week bro please oh, oh, don't oh, well what does it matter I made a different video right <laughs> yeah no for real like even if he does end up because he edits a little faster than I do I cannot wait to share what we have going on like these videos are insane probably my favorite videos that we have ever filmed hey wait till we go to the uk oh did i just say that out loud oh if you guys want us to go to the uk let us know and like shoot over locations I, i'm really like entertaining the idea of going there soon did you tell them we, we have the 8 a.m challenge today the 8 a.m what the hell's the 8 a.m challenge <laughs> the challenge is to sleep we got an hour and a half drive back to the house too this I'm is starting this is now when i say that like we're working hard so i'm not trying to make you feel bad for us or anything like that i just want you to know that we work really hard to bring you great content and the least that you can do, the least, is smash that like button. That's and all that we bad. ask. No, no, don't feel Better bad. Feel bad. Don't feel bad. Just <laughs> smash that like button. And make sure to follow my boy Mo. I'll leave links to his. He's got an awesome family channel as well. It's very similar. If you like my vlogs, you're gonna love his vlogs. I gotta go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace. <laughs>